is JC Ambrose and welcome to A Hawk's Life. So today what we're going to be doing is going to a campus event. And today is Wacky Wednesday and they're having the Mind Meddler. And I've done a little bit of research and I saw that he was like a comedy psychologist. I don't know if he's going to hypnotize us to thinking he's funny, but we're just going to go ahead and see what we think it's going to be. I think it's going to be a lot of fun or not, but this will be our event review for the week. Hello, my name is Michelle Soto, and this is my first time living on campus, which means this is also my first event going for Northeast. But if it's a hypnotist that we're all thinking, it would probably be like uh, my uh, prom, after prom event, where we also had a hypnotist. Okay guys, we have made it to the location of this event, Hawks Point Dining Hall. Um, dinner just got over, so we're sitting at a dirty table. <laughs> sitting at a dirty table but the ambiance is good the pipes are good there isn't a lot of people here more than um, we would think more than we thought but not a lot there's a volleyball game going on right now yes there is a volleyball game that is another effect but um we our hopes are high the mind meddler is right there you guys troy peters is in our presence so we're excited and pumped michelle what do you think um i don't know what to think he's not wearing like a outfit you would think you would wear like a suit it's like in casual wear yeah i'd have to agree i would think he'd be wearing like at least a cape or a top hat yeah like a magician. but i don't know looks can be deceiving so we'll get back to you guys in a little bit okay guys update we were talking crap about the attire <laughs> came out with a fancy shirt I'll tell you what um and tell you what looking like flynn um, oh, Flintstone. The Flintstone. <laughs> so what I'm saying is we are wrong. He does have an outfit. Um, I'm not that impressed by it, but we'll yeah, have to see what happens. Banner, he's wearing, like, a this nice is business yeah. casual. But Hello. <laughs> Okay, well what I'm saying is we are kinda harsh there, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> That's Harry Styles at three months of age. It is. Okay, ready? Just got done watching my mother. I'm here with Corinne Johnson. 
so Kareen. Me and her are in marketing together. <laughs> what was your favorite part about the show? Um, just how the guy interacts with all the students and understand how to how he does it. I don't know. <laughs> um, would you recommend students if they're gonna have this next year? Would you recommend them to go? Yes. Okay, out of 10, what do you think this event deserves? A 7. You heard it here, folks. A 7 out of 10 for the Mind Meddler. Welcome back to A Hawk's Life. I'm JC Ambrose, and I'm here with Troy Peters, the Mind Meddler. So, Troy, how did you get into this kind of line of work and doing comedy? I got into this uh, kind of mentalism and comedy when I was actually during the COVID period. I, I was working on a musical called Matilda and she has like these mind powers and uh, I was researching a lot of uh, ways of you know doing things on stage um, in order to make things move around or reading people's minds and I just kind of went down this deep rabbit hole during COVID of learning about mentalism and magic and so yeah. Yeah what has been your favorite part so far just going on the road doing shows what just makes it worth it for you? I think meeting the groups of people like um, you never know if there's going to be 15 people or 1500 are going to be showing up for some of these things and um, like I was in Indiana for the, the other night and there was 700 freshman students that were um, on their last day of welcome week and they were just so energetic and fun. So I just love, I love working with the crowds, kind of feeding off them, vibing off them, and um, yeah, just having fun with them. Yeah, and a lot of kids here at Northeast like performing and doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? How should they kind of find what they love? Do you have any um, opinion on that or advice to students like that? I would say go, if you were passionate about something, you know, find a way to get paid for it. And that's kind of what I did. I started off just not knowing anything about it and I just started valuing myself and finding um, a, a little club to play in. I got $150 and, and now I'm you know, going to a lot of big colleges and, and performing in front of a lot of people. So it's really, it's that find that passion and that drive and just don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. So that's what I would say. And then finally, where can our viewers check you out? Do you have social media, a website that they can look at? Where can we find you? Yep. On Instagram, Iowa City Magic Guy, uh, hashtag. <laughs> um, and I'm on Facebook, but nobody's on Facebook. Yeah, but I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm Troy Peters or Peters Entertainment. So you can find me there. Yep. And I've got my website, iowacitymagic.com. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. And this has been JC Ambrose, and this is A Hawk's Life. Hey, everyone. For our next segment on A Hawk's Life, we are out of campus for once. Um, not a lot of people are on campus today, so we decided to get out and hit up the North Fork Farmer's Market at River Point Square. So from what I hear of research and from locals, there's a lot of vendors that are local businesses just trying to get their products out there and a lot of treats, some good music, and just an overall good fall vibe for the day. So we're going to walk you through that for this next segment. We got some items at the farmer's market and we're gonna test them out for you. Yes, um, big back at 9 a.m. in the morning. Let's go, <laughs> boom or doom. So the first thing, okay, so there was a lot of treats and snacks and I was kind of intrigued. So we went to this um, booth called, it was pink, so that immediately drawed us in. <laughs> and it's More called, like her. <laughs> 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 oh, it's called the Pink Marble Bakery and they had a lot of treats, they had cinnamon rolls, cookies, but what intrigued me was these cakes in a cup. Um, get a look at that. Um, I believe this one is their peanut butter chocolate flavor. Um, one of these ran $5, which is kind of expensive, but like, I mean, it's pretty dense. That'll get you filled up. Um, sugar crash, if you ask me. And then- <laughs> we, also got the, we also got a brownie, right? Yes. Yeah. It is a 
football game day, they had these cute little brownies that had the stitching of a football. And oh my gosh, isn't that just American if I've ever seen anything like that? <laughs> oh, football brownie. <laughs> Ain't nothing more Nebraska. So what we got was kolaches. Oh, <laughs> not that. Yeah, so we got four. Um, the vendor that had these, it was like four for five. Yeah. I believe I got one cherry. Yeah. Two. Ooh. Two strawberries. Two strawberries. And then a blueberry. Yeah. <laughs> I think today, since it is like 9.30 in the morning, we're going to try kolache yeah. from the booth. We would dig into the brownies, but it's I'm, a not, much. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm not feeling that big backed for this moment. <laughs> I'm not right feeling now. that much chocolate right now. <laughs> no. Oh, we also got drinks, but yes. it's not part of the market. It's just like right behind it. Basically. Yeah, so we went to Juice Stop. We should have, <laughs> not a local business, but kind of, yeah. I guess, but. It's pretty good. It was a lot of options, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, my cherry kolache. I don't know. Yeah, like how. Ooh, 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 ooh. I already broke my hand. Yeah, I mean, so, you, yeah. yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. I was going to try the strawberry. I hope these are hyped. Yeah. For five bucks. <laughs> mm. It's good. Like, the bread feels like a croissant. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'd say it's pretty fire. Mm -hmm. I think they are good, especially because it can be hard to find good kolaches. But I feel like I've had better. But you know, it's just local business, and I'm glad to support. Pretty good. We have the jam, the jam, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. This one, I don't know. They didn't really say it's homemade. It might, it should. I'm be. guessing if it's yeah. like the farmers market, it would but be it, it's pretty good. Bro, I body the <laughs> the live painter is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. We saw a couple dogs there. Oh yeah, this one dog, Abby. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> Abby, she wanted treats. So cute. <laughs> She let me shake her hand. <laughs> yeah. She let me shake her hand. It was so cute. Yeah. And then like around the end of the, we were there, there's a dog barking. And I think we thought it was Abby. Yeah, Abby, <laughs> not very demure. Yeah. Oh, the cuts. There was also a demure mug for $20. And I don't know. It's a lot. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. <laughs> so I believe that they're going to have the farmer's market until November. River Point Square every Saturday. And then I think throughout the week, they have it on Tuesdays for like a couple hours. But on Saturdays, it's nine to 12 usually. Um, if you have nothing to do and just have some cash to spend or want some treats, everything is pretty reasonably priced. But you know, it's just a fun thing to get out of the house and talk to people, pet some cute dogs. Maybe Abby will be at the next one. Shout out Abby. It was like every other market you see. Uh, obviously this one is small because it's like in a small town compared to like Omaha, if you were to Omaha. Otherwise it was, it was a lot of like food, obviously. Um, there was some like trinkets that, are, that were nice that we saw, like where the mugs were. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of there were some flowers that were pretty cute. And I liked it. Like it was, it was a it was a vibe. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to agree. I thought it was a good time. This is my second time going, so I kind of knew what to expect. But I think it was just the vibe was really nice, and it kind of starting to feel like fall right now. So it was just really fun to go and do. You just need to get out of your dorm or your house and just want to go do something. I totally recommend, um, even if you just stop by for like 10 minutes, it's still a lot of fun. And usually the same people come every weekend, like they're there. So if you like something this week, if you go once, they're usually going to be there until November. And then I think a lot of businesses, they also stay running throughout the winter and the spring. So you don't have to worry about not getting something you like. Mm. But yeah, overall I'd recommend, um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for us for this part of the <laughs> video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. For our last segment, for our first episode on A Hawk's Life, we're going to be doing a campus tour on a Friday afternoon in September. Our first stop is the Cox Activity Center. Let's go. Okay, so right here to our, your right, we have the gymnasium. I'm in there. They're going to have all the activities, volleyball right now and basketball and men's and women's in the fall. A lot of stuff going on. And then over here, we have the theater. Northeast has a lot of productions um, and they're all going to be in there. And I'm pretty sure they're free for all students. Let's go this way. Right down this hallway, I'm pretty sure they have all the theater classes and they have some choir stuff too down there. I think they have a lot of their set building stuff. So it's pretty interesting to just go see and look what's down there. I say let's go. Ooh, band and choir. 
it's the band and choir room. Yeah. Ooh, theater stuff. Oh, all the theater stuff. Sorry. Ooh, yay. Okay, let's keep going. Do you have like a weightlifting room? Um, up here and as far as like some other like physical health stuff for anybody that's in sports or athletics here yes yeah, so right down here I think all the locker rooms are down here um, I'm too scared to go down there so <laughs> we're not going to right now and then I'm pretty sure right here is the athletic gym for everybody so now we hit the best part of the class building the media arts building um, all the cool people are down here. There's the vending machines. Let's go and look at some stuff, right? Oh, here's the water fountains area. Here's all the awards I didn't win, but you know. <laughs> um, we have some classrooms, some other storage rooms. Um, let's come on and come in here. Um, this is our control room. Um, this is fun fact. This is where. I sent us to like five commercial breaks whenever we were on air live during something, and I never touched it again. So, yeah, fun stuff. We got sound, sound lock. Get out! Yeah, are it's pretty area. cold right here. This is a common area. Um, fun fact: I fell right over there on the live broadcast last year. <laughs> um, fell like. Uh, good thing that is not recoverable. Um, I think this is the set for the other show. Do you, I don't know what their show is called. Do you I don't know. Michelle? No idea. So, well. <laughs> Wait, what, KR Mannequin, what's her name again? Clarice oh. or something? It's like Claire, right? I don't know her name. Yeah, does she have a name? Clarice, I think. I think it's Clarice, I don't know that. She's tired. She's very... I use prop that we have. Use prop. Feel bad for her. For real. Doesn't deserve anything that comes away. You know, she's loved by all. Yeah, so the same with me. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, what a good group. Solid. Some of those have been broken by people. I've watched it. Oh, yeah. I watched some bulbs just. Yeah, one of um, TV production, we dropped one. Yeah, somebody dropped one. Oh, not me. I was in the control room with that. I don't really know what happened. <laughs> Um. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have a green screen. Oh yeah. Maybe I should put something funny behind me. Doctor Steph, oh, Capybara okay. spinning. <laughs> what should it be? Capybara. Oh, Capybara. <laughs> me and my Capybara. Hey, chroma key. <laughs> See, we know stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, let's keep going. Ooh, cables, XLR cables. Yeah, anything and everything, mostly. Yeah. They got. Is that the sign out sheet? You want these toasters? Ooh, slices? what is it? Ooh. 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 Why is it like is... that? Ooh. Ooh. coffee all over. <laughs> I don't know who's. Who a script? Oh, that is not our sign out sheet. Okay. Um, here's the gymnasium. Um, we actually got new floor just this summer, so. We did? Pretty squeaky clean with the new logo, with the new hot going crazy. Um, the wall was also painted over the old logo, so just a lot of cool stuff has been happening over here. Um, yeah, everyone has practice in here, but pretty cool things with the floor being updated. I'd say it's pretty, pretty neat if you ask me. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to be exiting the Cox building and we're going to go over to the College Welcome Center next. Is the College Welcome Center. So in here, a lot of it's just like where you're going to pay your bill where they have registration, they have the tour room in here, they have disability services as well as the testing center. So let's pop in and see what they got going on. So yeah, everything's cool because it's like glass and it's all on like different sides. The testing center is back there. Um, here's student accounts, that's a big place. Pay your bill, see what you owe. Um, fun fact, I went in there and I gave Northeast a check, did not check and I signed the back of it. See, I don't do checks, and apparently I forgot that you're not supposed to sign it if you're paying something. 
So yeah, that's where that happened. We'll go ahead and go up here. Way to the top of the College Welcome Center. Um, we have our information desk behind us. And over here, they have the tour room. Let's see if we can get a, just a glimpse of what they got going on back there. Um, they have all the new branding and stuff in here, which is really interesting. Um, and if you come on a tour here, I'm pretty sure you get to pick from any t-shirt that's on the wall over here. It's so pretty interesting stuff. There's all the student ambassadors that are gonna be giving tours. So just a cool place. Oh, not Dasani. Root beer. Root beer, no, <laughs> root beer. Yeah. Ooh, pretty good stuff if you ask me. Doink. <laughs> Go Hawks. <laughs> so that's gonna wrap up the College Welcome Center. Just a good place. It has a, houses a lot of services. And yeah, we're gonna head over to Union 73. Hey everybody, we've got out of the College Welcome Center. We're on the way to the Union, but we thought we'd showcase the L building just a little bit. If you're not in graphic design or childhood education, you don't really have a lot of classes in there. But yeah, can we throw up an L for the L building? <laughs> Overall, um, we got some construction going on. This is gonna be in the new McClay building. All the business classes are gonna be there. There, We're gonna have a new career closet in there. Just fun stuff all around. I've reached the top of the stairs. I know you didn't think I could do it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> um, over here in the Weller building, they have some general academic studies. They also have the welding program and the automotive technology. Oh, hey. Hey, there's my roommates. Okay. Now we're entering Union 70. Oh, <laughs> Union 73. Ooh, the air conditioning goes crazy in this building. Let me tell you. Here's the first part of the walk-in, right whenever you walk in. What a good ambiance. Um, up over here, we're gonna have our student counseling and then they also have the food pantry over here. And do not skip out on the food pantry. They have some really delicious stuff. We also have some study spaces over here. Inside that glass is like the quiet area where people wanna use their phones. But sometimes the kids sitting out here are loud so you can hear them in the quiet area. <laughs> so I don't know how that works. But yeah, here's the honk shop. Um, this is where students can get their books. Um, any essentials they need, they have snacks, they have uh, markers, anything you could really want. And since they just came out with their Northeast branding, everything's pretty updated and they got some cool swag. Oh, look how cute and retro that is. <laughs> it's <a> shopping trip. <laughs> That is really cute. They have it so much new bike, so. <laughs> It's just me spending all my money. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like they have new stuff in here every week. Like, and the employees here are so nice. I'm not even just saying that because she's standing right there. <laughs> but they truly are. Um, they have a lot of cute summer stuff too. Like, I mean, I wouldn't catch me in this, but they're <laughs> Don't so ever catch me in these. <laughs> but they're so cute. Um, I actually have this t-shirt. Would recommend. Um, if you can get it on a sale, I would suggest. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, Guardian. Okay. Why are we in, like, New England? <laughs> oh, Shop I bet you New some England. of them have caught that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? Is there Huck Mom? No, just Huck Dad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say if you see me in this? Your next FBLA. <laughs> yeah, FBLA. <laughs> Ready to dominate. Hey guys, we're at the water fountain right by the hawk shop. We're gonna be doing a water fountain review. Let me let me show you really quick. <laughs> Drown. <laughs> I give it nine out of ten. It does taste like water. Um, <laughs> it does cold. taste like it was cold it's least. definitely city water, but Ooh. it's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be whispering because this is the library area. Um, I'm gonna, here's the writer center. Go see Jackie, she's the best. Um, I really like her. Yeah, 
some computers free to use. If you come here at a good time, these would be filled up with snacks. <laughs> where you can check out books if you really want to. <laughs> JC's <biggest> uh, op. <laughs> JC's op. Yeah, some study rooms for people to do group study. Um, hey, look who's on the TV. You need me. I'm here for accounting. Um, some other stuff they have in here. It's just a good chill place if you have to get stuff done. Um, they do have everything that's academic support. In here, this is a really good time. Um, yeah, if you need to get stuff done, people can help you. There's printing that you can utilize. Otherwise, there's just a lot of free services that you can get in here that's really good to use. Hey, everyone. We transitioned out of the library. Now we find ourselves at the support center. If you can't get onto the Wi-Fi, can't get into your apps, they'll pretty much help you with anything. And it sounds like we're close to the coffee spot on campus. Okay, over here we have the Union Coffee Shop. They do sell Starbucks and it is fire every time I go. Um, I have had some bad experiences, but everyone is pretty nice. Okay, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and walk this way. Okay, we're gonna be leaving the Union and then the next spot we're gonna do is just like the ag kind of buildings and that stuff. We won't go into everything, but we'll show you what we can. Bye. Okay, guys, we ventured outside a whole 10 feet. Okay, so over here is going to be the Ag Allied Health Building right over here. Connected to it through like a fun little tunnel is the science building. <laughs> so I don't know if you can even hear me. The wind is picking up the crusty grass. <laughs> Go ahead and go through the science building but over here they have the nursing building right over here um we're not allowed to go in that because we're not nurses we'll go ahead in the science building they have the math success center in there and then they have some other math stuff they have anatomy biology i took biology in there shadow erin she probably doesn't remember me they also have business classes in there why mcclay is getting worked on they have the pta lab up there there's a lot of labs and they have some accounting classes in here and they have some ag stuff so right over here is kind of just like a lot of people have classes, which is crazy. Classes out of school? <laughs> okay, we're entering the science building. Science, science, science. <laughs> just some classrooms. Um, they got a seat for everyone and their mom out here. <laughs> they go right over here. They're going to have the math success center. Ooh. There's people actually in there. Um, bro, how'd they get me? How they get me on there? <laughs> Just some biology labs, anatomy, and physiology. Fun stuff. And here we're coming up on it. The tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. <laughs> um, and then if you come this way, we have the elevator. Then they also have the greenhouse for that for the ag nerds. I don't know how we ended up outside, but there's the greenhouse for all the ag kids. Interesting stuff, I know. I took my biology lab last year was in that building, in that room right there. Yeah, I was a menace in that. <laughs> you put a microscope in my face, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, this is where I took biology. You see that seat right there? I sat right there. More classrooms. Ooh, ah, ooh. Okay. Okay, continuing, continuing on. Just more offices. Um, up here, I think on the latter side of the room, over here is where they have some more ag, like some agriculture classes. And they have their like field day coming up. Um, some bathrooms. And that room over there is where I have macroeconomics and marketing. <laughs> and here's where they moved um, graphic design. Of course, we're locked out. Get used to it at this point. <laughs> now we're going to go upstairs, and I think that'll be the last part of the tour for the Ag Allied Health Building. Up here, they have some more like business classes and faculty offices. 
They also have the early childhood education group over here. Fun stuff. Hmm, interesting. Going over to this area, they have all the physical therapy assistant stuff. I was in here earlier today to get a massage. Really fun stuff. Ooh, it's really cool over here too. There's more offices down here. Um, there's Angie's office. Shout out Angie Shaver. Um, this is where I took my accounting final last year. A plus. Just more business faculty offices from where I'm known. Second best office, you guys. Who's the best? Let's go find out. Going down. <laughs> Some criminal justice stuff, too. Colleen Barnes. She's the Phi Theta Kappa advisor. Ooh, our chariot awaits. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Sure, star. It was gonna go anywhere. <laughs> we survived, gang. <laughs> Okay, and we're back at the first floor. The next place that we're gonna be highlighting is Burgart and Simon Hall. So we'll see you guys there in a little bit. We just trudged a little bit. We're coming up on another staircase. But right over here is gonna be what they call Hawks Village. Um, a good aerial shot, we have some basketball courts, the apartments, Hawks Point with Path Hall. Um, we have the weather building right over here. We're gonna take you inside the gym of all places. Everybody, we trudge some more. Um, here is the Weller Fitness Center. Let's go take a gander, shall we? No. Um, here is the gym. If you want a good time to work out, come on Friday at 4 p.m. There ain't nobody in here. Yeah, a lot of good equipment. hitting range over here um yeah they do of course they blocked it out so people who aren't in baseball like me can't see it and you also have, a, have to have a fob it's not like i pay so much in tuition <laughs> come through okay so what i think is going to happen is what the Burkhart and Simon dorms, Path Hall, Hawks Point, and the apartments are going to be in our next Hawks Life segment. So stay tuned for that, guys. This has been JC Ambrose with our campus tour for episode one. Thanks for watching.